Hey everybody, today is Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Again, we're here at RetroCon, day number two of RetroCon. Everybody's starting, starting to pack, sort, sort of, everybody's sort of starting to pack up. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Everybody is definitely starting to pack up right now because unfortunately, we only have about a half hour until RetroCon 2022 has come to an end, which is really sad to think about. I love coming out to RetroCon every single year. And there was something I had to do this year and, um, you may have already saw it. I already got it. I got Mickey Dolan's autographs right over there. Mi Mickey Dolan's is right over there, signing autographs. He's still, he's actually still over there hanging out. I had to get my autograph with Mickey Dolan's. Hey, how, how's it going? Good. How, well, how's, I'll see you next year. How's the Monkey Mobile going? Excellent. Look at that. We got a lot of comments about how amazing the Monkey Mobile was. I mean, that is too awesome. It is too cool. That is fantastic. So I had to get an autograph from Mickey Dolan's. This is actually my birthday present from my mother. Last night, my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I said, you know what? I want Mickey Dolan's auto. It's Mr. Lobo's here. Look look, look at that. So how's the show been going for, for you? It's been going fantastic, and, and, I, and I'm really enjoying you know, your secondary channel with oh. all your new <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sick of seeing you drifting. <laughs> I'm glad to see you getting out. It's almost like we had a conversation about this earlier. <laughs> almost, almost. It's almost like word for word you're saying the things that I said. Almost, almost, almost. like that. So what's it been like being right next to uh, like Butch Patrick and Mickey Dolan's? I mean, how cool is that? Uh, they hate me. They hate you? Yeah, they, they asked to be moved. I mean, it, it, I, I used to be that guy who used to be next to Mr. Lobo all the time. Actually, then you asked and then I, I was like, please, please do not put me next to this guy anymore. Put me out on the floor. I do not want to have to deal with him all the time. But no, it, I, 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 want, I do want to congratulate you on Cinema Sickness. I think thank you're doing thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. And, uh, and, uh, and just keep it cranking. Oh, I will. Every, every day. I think you dropped 20 videos per day. Sure, I'll get, I'll get right, I'll get <laughs> right on that. <laughs> Once, once you do it, I'll get right on that too. Okay. All right. Well, it's Fair good to see, enough. All right. Good to see you, man. So Mr. Lobo's here. So like I was saying now, I, I got Nikki Dolan's autograph for my birthday. This was, this is my birthday present. I don't usually do autographs. I'm not, I'm not an autographed hound. I don't come to these conventions to do autographs. A lot of people, a lot of my, a lot of people I know do, a lot of my friends do. They, they come out to these places specifically for the reason not to thrift, not to find toys, not to, not to get cool retro things. They come out to these places to get autographs. That's the things my friends do. And that's cool. That's awesome. But me, I just, I've never really been into getting autographs. I like autographs. I enjoy autographs. I think autographs are cool when I can get them. I do get them. But for the most part, I'm just, I'm not really an autograph guy. I don't want to pay the money to get somebody's somebody's a scribble, which is why I always give my autographs out for free, even though they are worth $1,000 once put onto a Titanic VHS tape. That's a whole, another story there for a whole, another, another channel, my second channel, Cinema Sickness. If you guys don't subscribe to Cinema Sickness, check it out. Mr. Lobo was talking about it, and uh, you guys will know what I'm talking about when I, when I talk about the, uh, the Titanics. Anyway, but in this case, in the case of Mickey Dolan, in the case of the last surviving living monkey, I knew I had to get the autograph. I'm a big fan of the Monkees, one of my all-time favorite bands. I grew up with the Monkees. My my aunt got me into the Monkees. She used to actually tape, she would make illegal tapes. She would copy it off of like Nick at Night or something like that. She would copy the Monkees off TV, put them onto tape, make a compilation of Monkees Monkeys episodes for me to watch. And then she'd give them to me and I would watch them all the time. And then of course, once I got a little bit older and they were doing them on syndication on places like Nick and Night and stuff like that, I used to watch those. So I, I, grew, up, I grew up with the Monkees. I was a big fan of the Monkees due to my aunt. And to this day, I'm still a huge fan of the Monkees. I listen to the music all the time. I've got their movie on DVD, obviously, which is now autographed, which is totally awesome. I, um, I have the entire series on DVD. Really want to get the Blu-ray set. One of these days, one of these days. Hopefully someday I'll pick up the Blu-ray set, but I hear that's quite expensive and quite out of print. So who knows when that'll happen? When slash if that'll happen? I don't know. But in the meantime, I got them on DVD. I'm totally okay with that. And I've got the Monkeys movie head signed by Mickey Dolan, which is totally awesome, totally cool, and definitely made my day. Did not think I'd be that happy about ever receiving an autograph, but today. I was a happy guy. One of my best birthday presents ever. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for the, uh, the Mickey Dolan's autograph. Totally cool. Totally awesome. Best birthday present ever. But anyway, guys, again, so we're here. Second day of RetroCon 2022. Most people are packing up now. I'm probably going to wait a little bit. I'm going to maybe try to catch some stragglers also. I kind of want to just pull the van through one of those big cargo doors they have back there. That's, that's my plan. Just kind of wait till everybody sort of packs up. Everybody starts to get out of here, things start to clear out, and then I can pull my van right in, pull Vanabelle directly in to the convention, 
and just load my van up right from my actual setup, which is something I usually do every single year and something I'm hoping to do this year as well. It makes cleaning up a whole heck of a lot easier. I kind of feel like I should be looking around though to see if there's anything maybe possibly that I, I want to pick up any off any of these people because sometimes one of the best things to do is actually stick around to the very end of a, of a convention because sometimes people just want to get rid of stuff. There are some people who come out here and sell and they're not looking to take anything home. A lot of these people, they just want to get rid of it. They, they, they say, okay, everything I brought, I want to get rid of. The more I can get rid of, the better. So if you wait to the very end of a, of a convention, sometimes you can get some really really good deals. I've gotten stuff for like dirt cheap. I've even got some things for free where people have just said, you know what, just just take these things. You can just have them. That, that has happened before. So you never, you never know. Again, just wait to the very end of a convention and you can sometimes get some pretty amazing deals. I actually just made a couple deals with some people right before I started this video because again, we have like a half hour to go and I thought, you know what, a couple of people wanted some things and they didn't want to spend, you know, as much. I said, that's okay. That's cool. Again, it's the end of the convention. Let's work some deals out. I'll give you maybe like, you know, you buy five DVDs and I'll, I'll give you one for free or something like that. I was making some deals with some people because again, it is the end of, end of the convention. Look at the, the lounge flies. That's awesome to see. They're going kind of for um, like retail price here. So I ended up uh, not picking up any lounge flies for my wife or anything like that. There's some some movies over here, some Blu-rays, look at all this stuff. There's some anime in here. I didn't even see these. How did I miss these before? Look at that. What is this, $20 complete collection of Comic Party? I'm not even familiar with that. These are cool. $10 for Hourglass of Summer. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually have some of these. Oh man, I. here's the problem though. I have spent enough at this convention. I'm thinking I don't need to be buying anything else. I have bought uh, some Laserdisc. How's BBG doing? How's Greg doing? I'm good. I'm trying to look at other figures there. Yeah? You're trying to buy some more stuff? Something I shouldn't be buying. <laughs> yeah, saying, now that you made all that money, you're trying to spend money on more things? Nah, Star Wars, but I already got all that. Yeah, yeah picking I'm up, good. Picking Thank up you, things though. for you or for reselling? Or a little of both? For me. But for, for you? For, me, for you? If the, uh, the numbers are right, the deal's good. There, I, exactly. Th this guy here has been known at the end of conventions to go to people's booths and say, I'll take this entire box for $3. And I'm like, what a jerk. Why would you, like, wow, talk about a low ball. And then they go, yeah, okay. I do not. But do you want to show them why? You want to show, you want to show them why they do that? That's why, that's why they, that's why they do it. He, he, he doesn't, he doesn't like, you know, blink his big brown beautiful eyes. He does, he does that. <laughs> He does that yeah, and all, good that all the, camera, all so the ladies, that was nice. All the ladies just melt. You just melted a ton of ladies right now. They all just melt and they're like, sure, you can have all my stuff for dirt, dirt cheap. That's, I'm waiting for like that's how it works. Comment, like, oh, he's fat. I wouldn't date him. <laughs> you are fat. P-H-A-T. Oh, pretty, are... pretty hot and tempting, right? Oh, yeah, isn't that, isn't that how it goes? That's but you've been having a great time out here? Dude, I'm having a great time. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm assuming you did probably did pretty well. Oh, very good. Yeah, you always do pretty well at these, at these shows. Double last year. Not, double? Oh, wow, I remember you did pretty well. I remember what your numbers were last year, so that's that's impressive. That's pretty awesome. That's amazing. I did really, I did really well, really well as well. It's, yeah, it's, it's that. The ladies just, the ladies, all the fellas just come up and they're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna buy some stuff, I, maybe possibly, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence, and then, and then the money gets handed over. That's, that's how it works. So the, the money just gets thrown right to, Right to BBG here, Booth Babe Greg, right right to him. So, all right guys, I'm having a blast out here. It's been fun hanging out with my buddies, with my friends, buying a whole bunch of awesome stuff. I got movies, I got Spice Girls, I got Figment, I got, I got, I got a laser disc. I picked up all, I did pick up some Figment. I picked up a lot of awesome stuff. And best of all, I got an autograph from a monkey, which is totally cool and totally amazing and blows my mind. Now this is something that I now have in my possession. I gotta get a nice like, case or something to to put this in so it doesn't get ruined because that's that's too cool but anyway guys all right so with that i'm gonna let you guys go hopefully you guys if you did come out here hopefully you guys had a blast hopefully you did come out here if you did again i hope you had a fantastic time at retrocon 2022 and for any reason you did not get out here next year retrocon 2023 i want to see all of you out here because it's a fantastic show oh no Oh no, this guy's coming over. Chris well, we is coming over. Good video we were, show, we were, this video's fantastic. I was here actually to plug uh, Monster Effects. Monster Effects? All right, we can plug that too. We can just plug, <laughs> we can just plug everybody. Stuff. Of course, Bubba stuff. And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> Jersey <laughs> Geek as well. I'll put, I'll put all, all the links down below to everybody, guys. But anyway, with that, we are done. I gotta go start packing up. Sorry, right, guys. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Of course, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a monthly post 
if you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, if you guys uh, hit our, our go, no, check, you guys are throwing me off. You guys are screwing, <laughs> go away. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We're gonna pick up what's with Dave today. T-shirts, if you guys do become a patron or you do pick up a T-shirt, proceeds from that go to help putting gas inside Vanderbilt so we can come out to find interesting places like this. Look at the cool film cells. Those are awesome, those are amazing. I want some of those. Anyway, guys, so definitely do that. If you guys hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. So have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. In two days, we leave for Walt Disney World. I'm pumped. I'm excited. You guys want to say one last thing? Anything else? Mother stuff. Trish Geek. Monster FX. There you go. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. All right, bye.